Put your pants down. Put your pants down. <laughs> Put your pants down. <laughs> Slowly. On the ground, son. Put them down slower. Tease me. Fold them. <laughs> Fold the pants. They're gonna get wrinkly. Don't look at me. It won't turn me on if you're looking at me. Call me a little stinky boy. Pull my hair. Get out the hot wax. Last thing I wanted to say is that he's collaborated with the likes of Paramore and Kelly Clarkson. Oh. Wow. What is this, American Idol 2009? <laughs> Riley's just sad because he tried out that year. <laughs> oh, I remember what happened. <laughs> Shit is Let dancing. me tell you, he needs to leave Kiss from a Rose by Seal alone. <laughs> and I, it was it was fine. It was it's not easy to sing that song. It's not that boom. <laughs> <Boom-er. laughs> uh, here he goes again. His voice sounds like a wilting flower. <laughs> I did not guess Chris Stapleton. Stapleton's a weird last name, isn't it? Stapleton. Hey Stapleton, get over here. Your big ass ought to be on the football team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stapleton, you get dropped on your head when you were a kid? Get over here. What would your mother think if I told her you were smoking Cubano cigars at lunch? You're in fucking it in eighth grade. Where the fuck did you get a box of premium Cubano cigars? <laughs> Stapleton, are these things from Cuba? <laughs> I mean, holy shit. These things are expensive as fuck. You're literally... 13 years old. I mean, I understand, you don't like the school lunches, but Cuban cigars? What the fuck, Stapleton? <laughs> Stapleton, I'm serious. Where did you get these? Your dad's not even around. I don't know who you took them from. I'm Graydon Weaver from Hive Mind, and I'm speaking for the perverts. Yeah, I don't know. I'm stuck between a few people. Yeah, yeah. like three. It's cool if I just guess all of them, and if I get it right, I can get all the points right. No. I'm gonna go with Buffalo. Buffalo is the fourth highest for two points. It's technically called a guar, but that is in the bison. Team. I love uh, that band. Greg too. Guar, yeah. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. There's a band called Guar. You've, You've never, never heard, heard of Guar? Two dogs in the house, two balls. Hey, nigga. Two dogs in the house, two balls in my mouth. Hey, <laughs> Dogs in the house, two balls in my mouth. Hey, nigga. Dogs. Bro. Two balls in my mouth. Hey, nigga. Yo, what is wrong wait, with you? Wait, 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 wait. Two dogs in the house, two balls in my mouth. Two dogs in the house, two, two balls, balls in my, in my mouth. mouth. <laughs> it's called Juju on that beat, too. Dude, what? Bruh. I wanna, I'm curious about the comments on this. Oh, Colgate gang. That's kind of... There's... Teeth brushing. It's great to be back with you, man. What do you mean? It's been a while. Not really. Okay. <laughs> doesn't feel that long to me. That's what I'll really? say. Really? It doesn't feel that long to me. You no. needed a little more time? No, I, it's fine. I like it. It's like perfect timing. Okay. By Nav and uh, Metro Boomin. What's that face? What's your problem? I'm thinking about ripping your nose ring out with a string. That's what I'm thinking about. Why would you do that? Well, because I want to catch it with like a fish hook, kind of while you're not looking, like you're sitting there working. And I kind of come in over here and it just kind of, and then you're like, what was that? And then I go, and I rip it out. You realize that would hurt me a lot. Oh yeah. Lots of pain. Blood too. Your nose bleeds like a little sucker. Like a little sucker? It bleed, the bleeding little sucker. Why would you want to do that to me? It's just like a sick fantasy in my head. I'm not going to do it in like real life, but you ever like think about crazy shit in your mind? I mean, yeah, but like an old lady walking across your street and you just like <laughs> in your car. You ever picture stuff like that? Was that you going back and forth? Oh, yeah, like um, so many times. Yeah, so like you hit her and then you run back over and then you run back over. Basically until it's like not a bump. <laughs> like I want to work her into the pavement. Right. <laughs> but that's just stuff you think about. It's like normal stuff. I mean, I don't think about stuff. Like I'll I'll have a an intrusive thought here or there. <laughs> sure, yeah. You know? Like I see a guy on a bike and I go, <laughs> he should have a car and so I'm going to hit him <laughs> yeah. on the bike We're like real quick. Squeezing the parakeets until their eyes pop out like little seeds at the pet store. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah, so see, I, don't, I don't have those thoughts. Oh, really? No. Uh-oh. Like wringing a ferret out, like a bath towel. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Life is a funny, funny game we play. <laughs> it's not a game. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> Let's get another Dignan dick down. No, wait. No, no, no. Who? <laughs> He's mixing the brain juice with the word juice. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get the next type beat. Whoa. Stop looking at my shit. This is for my eyes only. Call me the place where I store my nude photographs and Snapchat, because this is for my eyes only. I just think it's so nice that you let like little stupid kids pick out your next <laughs> tattoo. <movies. laughs>
I think that's really nice. You do great work in your community. How do you like Hit Me Baby one more time? It was my fifth grade volleyball's theme song. Fifth grade volleyball? Yeah, I played volleyball in fifth grade. Oh, hit. I get it. Hit me, baby, one more time. Wow, wow. And I would, I would pop out like that. <laughs> you pop out? I'd pop out like, <laughs> hit me, baby, one more time. Bow, wow. Like that. <laughs> that sounds like a fun time. Yeah, Vince Vaughn was our coach. I didn't have a shit in fifth grade. Vince Vaughn? <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second there to even gather what you said. Yeah, Vince Vaughn was our coach. Motherfucking Vince Vaughn was your coach? Yeah, absolutely. He seems like he'd make a great volleyball coach. Fantastic. Why didn't you take it to the collegiate level? What kind of held you back. Well, that was fifth grade. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it seems like with a coach like that, though, you really could have taken that thing to like a full scholarship level. Well, he couldn't coach us in sixth grade. Why? One, he was doing a movie, but yeah, he also sure. didn't like our choice of theme song. Oh, he didn't like that song. No, no, no. For sixth grade. He oh. loves Hit Me Baby one more time. <laughs> yeah. In sixth grade, it was Smack That by Akon. Oh, I love that song. But we too. changed all the lyrics to be about volleyball, and he said that he thought that was, quote, a little on the nose and <laughs> a little corny. <laughs> Smack that ball on the floor. Smack that so we can score. Yeah. Smack that. Yeah, I wrapped Eminem's verse in full <laughs> <I bet> every <laughs> single game. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's still a great opportunity. You were coached by one of the greatest actors to ever live. Yeah. Yeah. If you're weird, you should get made fun of. Right. <laughs> That's what my generation was about. Bowling. This new generation, I'm sick of it. They're running around letting their freak flags fly. <laughs> And the worst part is they're using contraceptives. Are you serious? In my day, you know what we did? What did you guys do? Raw dog. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me they're using lambskin condoms? Before exactly. They, before they, what's next? Let me guess. They what? know each other's names before they pork? What part of the skin do they use for that condom? The penis, obviously. <laughs> I feel like a Gucci ad lib. Unbelievable track. I love that song. It's over a Missy Elliott beat. It's amazing. Music video was like the lyrical lemonade video that changed everything, yeah. I feel like. You got Missy's Blessing too. Yep. Fantastic. Me as well. You got Missy's Blessing? Yeah. Missy Elliott? Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. I wore the same outfit she wore to, was it the Grammys in like 2007? I wore that same outfit to the award show at my local Elks Club. And then she gave me her blessing to wear it. Local Elks Club? The Elks Club. That's crazy. Correct. It's like a social club for old people. Sure. And, and Missy, I'm, yeah, Missy Elliott gave you her blessing to wear the same outfit that she wore to the 07 Grammys. Correct. To your local Elks club. It was a ceremony. It was a big deal for the Elks. Did you win anything? No. I came. No. You came? <laughs> I came up short. <laughs> oh. Came up short of winning a few of the awards that I was nominated for, including Best Garden and Best Bingo Match and Best Outfit. I came up short on that one. Who beat you? Gunna. <laughs> Gunna's in your local Elks club? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's hard to beat him. I didn't know he was involved. But... It was an all ball match. Pretty awesome look. But... On this playlist, we got Collard Greens by Schoolboy Q and Kendrick, Levels by Meek Mill, Type of Way, Rich Homie Quan, I Know, Big Sean and Jane Aiko, uh, Freedom by Pharrell Williams. <laughs> freedom! Freedom! That's not that song. Freedom! Isn't that song by Sarah Bareilles? You bet. Oh, God, there's a Big Sean song on here. Yeah, you don't got to worry about that anymore, man. What? What's the deal? I burned another bridge, Riley. <laughs> I burned another bridge. And this is the Big Sean bridge? Yeah. What happened? Well, he invited me over to his house post Dolly World. And I thought, <laughs> all right, I had two boxes of wine. And I thought it'd be fun to pull out the five fingers with the knife trick that I often do. Yeah, you're always doing that. Yeah. Well, Big Sean don't like blades. Okay. And I chopped a little bit of mine off. Your finger? Yeah. Okay. And it made him sick. Yeah. And he threw up. Yeah. And then I went full jackass and I made his puke into an omelet and ate it. <laughs> And I told, you know what, a lot of the times I am so confused why people want to burn a bridge with me. This time I get it. Yeah. I, would, I, yeah, I went that's, way too far. That's too you do not cook someone's puke in their own house. I crossed the line. Yeah. Nah. Do I really got to spell it out? I-T. I spell it out. This is, I hate this kind of shit. Do I really got to spell it out? I-T. Spell it out. <laughs> Greatest rapper alive. Manual, are you here? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Manual, are you I'm trying to talk to a ghost. Shh. Manual, 
Make your presence known if you're still haunting this house. I have a question, just a logistical question. Yes. Um, is his name Manuel or Emanuel? It's Manuel. Just, <laughs> just Manuel? Manuel, present yourself. I don't know, man. This ghost seems hard to read. There he is. Where? You can't see him? No, he's a ghost. That he's right there. Okay. Ah, he's taking off his pants. Okay, sure. Oh, it's nice. He's got tight underpants on. I can see the whole print. What? Thank you, Manuel. <laughs> He's out of here? <laughs> He's still there. I just can't stop looking. Oh. Thank you, Manuel. Three, two, one. I put J. Cole. NF. <laughs> this is Sean Mendez. <laughs> oh my god. Sean oh. Mendez? Nah. I thought he was better than that. J. Cole NF Sean Mendez. <laughs> here we go. You see it. <laughs> I forgot, but they gotta spell it out. I see you spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell it out. What song could this possibly be? Is this from Hamilton? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore, dude. Dude, you're still funny. You still got it. Despite what everyone on Reddit's saying. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a hamster. No, jeez. <laughs> 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 Party Rock is in the house tonight. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm just like phoning it in. Here's another joke. You're welcome. <laughs> Not everything's about drama, Riley. I know, I know. I just love drama I know you and do. gossip it's and ridiculous. rumors and you tabloids. You keep spreading rumors about me, too. I mean, yeah. It's just that, like, your life is so crazy uh -huh. that people will kind of believe anything has truly happened. Mm -hmm. And so the crazy stories that you tell, I just try to tell stuff that kind of fills in the spaces to make it even, I don't know, just spice it up a little bit. It's messed up, dude. It's not really messed up. I, I can't get another job. I mean, you don't need another job. This job is perfect. <laughs> I was trying to apply for UNICEF, I wanted to like give back to the world, maybe join the Peace Corps, and they won't accept someone that does all the things you say I do. Uh, they won't accept somebody who does the things you actually do. Damn. You stab people, bro. I don't think the tipping point for any of these jobs was me saying that you bought canaries at a bunch of different pet stores around town and then let them all free in the butterfly house just to see what would happen. <laughs> You stab people, they're probably not gonna hire you. I don't mm. think they're like, oh, well, stabbing people, that was cool, but the canary prank, not very cool. <laughs> Those canaries are hungry. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Dude, how old are the Scooby-Doo characters? Now? No, when they were doing it, because like the idea of- 14 through 30. <laughs> right, but like who's 14 and who's 30? Velma is, is young. I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, there's something problematic going there. Who was screwing the jock and the blondie? <laughs> <laughs> weren't they, weren't they fucking? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the blondie? Isn't Freddy the blondie and the jock? Yes, so the blondie and the jock are one Freddy. That's Freddy, and he's not really the jock. He's wearing <laughs> but, like a sailor outfit. Yeah, he but he's like, like he's the jock. We he's all know broad it. Shoulders. No, yeah, yeah, he's the hot guy. Okay. He would yeah. know about sports. Like if you were on the mystery bus and you were like, you see the Browns win last night? He'd turn around and be like, bullshit. Yeah. Something like that. But he, Shaggy's the sneaky good screw. He's kind of like a, <laughs> he's like a line cook. Like he's yeah. like he's like got a yeah. line cook vibe where like yeah. he's not attractive, but once you get to know him, huge pipe. He's tall Definitely. and he lays pipe yeah. and he's got that skinny sleeps on a floor mattress, lays that shit down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I also found out that the part of the brain that perceives babies is right next to the part of the brain that perceives food. <laughs> and my cousin hit his head really hard a couple weeks ago. And so those receptors switched. So now when he sees a baby, it's like he's looking at it like a pot of gumbo or a sizzling steak. Oh, that's awesome, man. I mean, he starts salivating. That is awesome. And it's not like, no, he hasn't like tried it or sure. anything. He hasn't okay. tried yeah. one or right. anything like yeah. that. Like, right. that's but fine. I mean, when he walks into a daycare, I mean, his mouth starts watering like it's a breakfast buffet. That is awesome. Does he have a kid? No, he doesn't have a kid. So why is he going in the daycare? I mean, that's, I mean, he shouldn't. That's what He's I'm saying. That's nose. what I'm saying. It's just kind of like, yeah. He hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but like, what are you even supposed to do about that? I mean, I'd just hollow out that soft spot and I'd put an egg in there and make like a hot pot. I'd press in the soft spot. That's you know, hats. that's flying a little close to the sun, don't you think? And I would like crack an egg in there. I don't know if he's gonna stop at the egg if the bowl is appetizing. Well, I'm saying you eat the kid. Well, no, 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 no. That's oh. what I'm saying. Like you shouldn't do that. Oh, maybe put it on like a rotisserie and put it like five feet above a fire and let that sucker spin for like 14 hours till the meat's so soft it like drips off the bones. I mean, dude, he is like losing his <laughs> mind trying not to eat children. That's kind of like all oh. of your solutions have been eating children. Yeah. That's not, he shouldn't do that. Yeah. He thumped his head and now infants are like cheeseburgers. Maybe like simple like garlic butter, rosemary, oven, 365, two and a half hours. 
He does not need recipes. Broil it for the last for 15 kids. minutes to get it no, crisp? No, this is not, this is exactly the opposite. I'm uh, saying like, how should he restrain himself? Right. I'd use a cast iron pan, white wine, vinaigrette with a shallot. Oh, and maybe no. some tarragon. I would take uh, the baby's ass, the fat part, and I would coat the pan in that baby <laughs> fat. Uh. And then I would get all the lean loins and stuff, and I'd give them a nice hard sear on the cast iron. It does sound good. <laughs> I, I, I will say, like yeah. tarragon right. and, and baby fat. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Wow. But I, but still, again. What about a 30-day dry age? I know it takes a little extra time, but that, I mean, it really does something to the meat. By that time, it's basically a toddler. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think he'll be hungry. Yeah, he shouldn't go down that route, man. It's a messy, messy road. And once you get a taste, you know what they say, Brad. That you need help. Nothing compares to the taste of human flesh. That's what they say, man. It is the most dangerous game. And the most delicious filet. I'm just going to tell him to get a new hobby. Maybe start collecting stamps or something. Next, we've got... Oh... My. Absolutely purring at us. The white vignette. I have not <laughs> seen something like this in all my many years on this earth. Oh, it's probably an old photo. I don't think so. <laughs> it looks brand new. Adam. I mean, jeez. 